And Zuli Ortiz, that's my makeup artist, my hairstylist. They put this whole thing together, and I'm very grateful. Because <laughs> if not, I would look a hot mess. <laughs> hey, and before, we had to smell a whole lot of hairspray. So if you guys want to know how we handle breathing, just lightly. He's asking, how old is I'm 44? He says, well, how do you eat us? How does it feel to be a legend when you're not even 50? And I said, well, I don't know how that feels, but all I know is that once again, I try to stay relevant. I try to stay, uh, I mean, how lucky can a boy be being in two bands, Newsboys and DC Talk? It's a dream, you know? So I definitely take that um, all grace to God for that, for sure. But it's cool, man. I love to impact, me. I like to impact people. Music is very powerful. Sometimes it's the only way to a kid's heart is through their headphones, and I know that very well. Yes, we are currently working on a new album, so we're in the studio, Group One Crew, that's my band, and uh, so we are having our album come out in September of this year. Very, very exciting. It's going to be some good stuff. All the songs, the songs Joshua, David, Daniel, Mary. Tons of them. Yeah, tons of them. We did the tour back in, uh, we should have done a tour with us. I we, did, we did the tour back in December, and... Um, People were just mesmerizing. The, the, the footage, the lighting, and the songs. It's uh, musical theater for sure, but it's, it was impactful because the songs were so pinned well by Nicole Norman. And then Bernie, uh, Bernie, I'm sorry, Bernie Taupin, <laughs> Bernie Herms did an incredible job doing the music. So you feel it. It's, it's like Bono says you can get inside the song. I think personally, it's some of the best lyrics I've heard in such a long time. Mm -hmm. And the most powerful thing about it is that it's truth. That's what it is. Every song is just truth. You hear it and you just feel the spirit. You feel so, like you said, mesmerized by it. And it, it, it impacts in a very big way. So I feel so grateful to be a part of it. I know for me, I think what was, what was really cool about it is we learn a lot with music. You know what I mean? So to put the Bible to words, Genesis to Revelation, different stories that really help us even appreciate more of the different characters in the Bible, you know, different things that we might have not understood about them when we read them, you know what I mean, you know, kind of put it to words, you know, in, in a song kind of things helps us, at least artists, you know, kind of gets us to memorize, oh, this is what happened to so-and-so, this is what happened, you know what I mean, so it was real dope, and, and uh, like we all up here can agree, it's neat to mix all sorts of genres with one another and ultimately, you know, love and respect each other and love Jesus at the same time, so. Yeah, I, I do love my enemies. I mean, Jesus taught us that. I really feel that, you know, in the day and age, we're surrounded by people that are hating, you know, our, our faith. We're, we're constantly persecuted and people are always bad-mouthing us, saying, oh man, you can't say Jesus, you can't. Well, we, um, um, my wife and I have uh, five girls and our fourth is in heaven. And so when we, uh, we, found out when Angie was 18 weeks pregnant with Audrey uh, that uh, we were going to lose her. And so we've decided that um, we car Angie carried her for another 14 weeks, so a total of 32 weeks. And we went home from the hospital that day when we found out at the ultrasound. We told our twins, and our uh, uh, they were four at the time, and our uh, two-year-old, uh, Ellie, Abby, and Kate, we said, she's going to go be with Jesus when she's born but we're gonna live life while we have her. So what do you guys wanna do? And so uh, this was four years ago. And so my oldest twin said, I wanna show her Cinderella's castle. And so we did that. And it just so happened, not just so happened, but it's just one of those things where God is just watching over. Uh, a radio station in Orlando asked us to uh, come down and sing at SeaWorld. And so we stayed for two extra days and we got to go back to Disney and the day that we flew down was would have been Audrey's fourth birthday and so it was just timed in just a, a really special way so we had a great time um, the kids got to ride on the roller coasters uh, and so they just thought they were the coolest thing and it was it was just great to for all of us to be able to do it so yeah thank you and pregnant and murdered it. <laughs> killed it I never thought I would have the opportunity to be able to perform with these people on the stage, so I feel honored. <laughs>